Hey there guys, in today's tutorial we're going to be making a duct tape iPod sport band and put in simpler terms, it's basically just a band that you slip your iPod into like you can see here. It goes around your arm and you can you know, use your iPod when you're jogging or when you're doing physical activities and they're most popular when you're jogging, that's what it's pretty much made for. So that's what we're going to be making in this tutorial. So before we talk about the band, let's actually talk about the iPod that we're going to use. Now this is a 5th generation iPod Nano, and this band that we're going to make is pretty much going to work with all the previous Nanos, so 1 to 5. The 6th one, which is out right now, is a lot smaller. It has a clip on it. You don't need to worry about making something like this because it has that clip. Pretty much all the shuffles have clips, so you don't need to worry about those. If you are making this for an iPod Classic, I'm sure you guys know what an iPod Classic is. It's a little bit bigger, a lot thicker, and a lot heavier. I would suggest that you modify this accordingly. Make sure that you add a lot more tape to it. Because because you don't want your, you know, your iPod Classic to, to fall out when you're jogging or whatever activity you're doing. You definitely want you know, to reinforce it and make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. So if you are using a Classic, I would suggest go through the time to make sure that it's secure. Because if you're jogging and it's bouncing all around, you don't want your iPod to, uh, to fly to the ground. So with the Nanos, they're pretty small and they're pretty uh, thin. You don't have to worry too much about you know, them going crazy. So we're going to be using the iPod 5th generation Nano in this tutorial. So our first step what we're going to do is cut out two strips of tape that are 15 inches long and 15 inches is a bit overkill even if you do have a pretty pretty large arm so we're going to be overshooting a little bit here but it's just going to mean that there's that much more room when you do try to curl them together and stick a little bit of velcro on which you can see up here. So you're going to take your two 15 inch strips here and you're going to apply them directly on top of each other. It can be a little difficult because these strips are very long, but you should be able to do it without much trouble. So now we have our back band, and now we're going to work on the actual pod that the iPod is going to slip into. So let's work on that next. The next step for the pod that the iPod goes in, we're going to cut out four strips of tape that are a little over three inches long, and you can see that's just kind of leaving a little bit of room here at the top, which is just fine. These measurements are going to work for pretty much all of the nanos that are on the market, and the uh, the newer the uh, the older ones were kind of thick, so you can probably expand these measurements a little bit, but they should work for the newer ones. And once we have those two stuck together, you're going to line it up here. And you want to come to about three inches, maybe a little less than three inches on the, you know, the width on the side. So we're going to flip that over. And get ready to cut out four more strips because you're going to be doing the exact same thing. So once you have those four stuck together just like that, you're going to make a second piece like this. And then we're going to seal up the sides and the bottom, which will be our next step. All right, so here's our pouch using a little bit of tape. I taped up the sides and the bottom, and we just have the pouch there. It's a really nice Mario pouch for the iPod. And you can see the iPod does stick out a little bit, as you can see there, but that's okay. Next thing we're gonna do is make the little strap that goes over the top, and this just prevents the uh, iPod from jumping out. It's gonna be pretty tight in there, but you don't wanna take any chances with something as expensive as an iPod. So you take, you know, about a three and a half inch strip, stick it together like that, and then we're gonna take another piece of tape here, we're going to stick this on the back of the pouch here, just like that. The Mario tape looks pretty sweet, I must say. We're going to stick the R iPod in here, and then we're just going to curl this over the top like this. And you can take a little spot of Velcro and stick one there, and then just stick it down like that, and that'll be a nice place for a piece of Velcro. So now what we're going to do is attach it to our band up here, which should be pretty simple. So attaching it to the band should be pretty simple, just one strip of duct tape over the top and you will have effectively attached it to the band. Let's talk about the uh, screen and the click wheel because I know a lot of you are looking at this and thinking, okay, well how do I access the click wheel and know what I'm doing on the screen? Well, when people exercise, you know, when they jog or they use a band like this, most of the time they're using playlists so you know they have it on shuffle or something like that. Most people when they're exercising don't stop, you know, stop jogging to try to adjust, you know, the settings. A lot of the actual bands that uh, Apple makes don't does have you know a cutout for that and you can actually do that you can measure where it is and you can do a cutout for this it's gonna be a little trickier for the screen because you want this piece if you have velcro on it to come down and stick it on but you can do it I mean a lot of people like I said don't change their their uh, tunes while they're jogging or exercising they usually have a playlist and that's what most people do that's why the shuffle became so popular because it doesn't even doesn't even have a screen so that's talking about the actual um, band itself and the iPod that you're using let's talk a little bit if you want to use a classic or something like that 
All right, so before we talk about putting the Velcro on and attaching it onto your arm, we'll talk about using a classic iPod. If you are using a classic iPod, this is going to be bigger. You're going to be enlarging the measurements a little bit. Just pretty much the same dimensions I use for this, except they're gonna be a little bit bigger and you're gonna be doing it for a classic instead. Classic's gonna be heavier. Make sure that you reinforce the bottom. Make sure you, re you reinforce the sides and make sure you reinforce this pouch that's going to be taped onto the device here. Classics are heavier, so you have to really reinforce for that. Otherwise, you know, your iPod may uh, jump out. If you do have a hard case or something like this iPod actually has a, a soft plastic case on it before I've dropped this thing all the time and this case does a great job of protecting it So if you do have something like that on your iPod I would recommend you leave it in that and then just slip that into this pouch all by itself So not only will the pouch the, like the duct tape protect it if it does happen to fall out or fall off your arm You will definitely have that hard case or that soft case on the inside So that should protect your iPod from anything that's going to happen out there when you're exercising so now let's talk about, you know, sticking uh, the Velcro on and putting it on your arm. All right, so as you saw in my original one, this is where the, uh, the fabric part of the Velcro is, and this is where the hooks are. Basically, this is how it works. It's very simple. You just align this on your arm, and then you stick it down like this. It usually takes a little bit of a helper to get it on, but once it comes on, that's pretty tight around my arm. It should go pretty much above your, uh, your arm muscle so that your arm muscle should kind of prevent it from falling off. But you do want to make sure that it is you know, nice and tight on there. Not so tight that it cuts off your circulation, of course, but you do want to make sure that it stays on. And obviously, I have a hole cut out for the bottom because that's where the iPod uh, headphone jack is on the Nano, the fifth generation Nam Nano. So I have that part cut out right there. So if you want to do that for for, you know this one right here I would put the velcro over here on the back here and then just stick it together just like this and you'll have a little piece of velcro up here which you can stick down like that so that's how to make a duct tape iPod sport band showed you how to make it for the nano series you won't need it on the sixth generation nano because as a clip if you are making the classics just um, for making it for a classic iPod just make sure you followed all the warnings that I showed you and you shouldn't have any problems with it uh, you know slipping off your arm or jumping out on you or anything like that because iPods are expensive you don't want to mess around like throwing them around and you know all, all electronics are pretty fragile so iPods are no different so take care guys catch you guys next time on the channel hopefully you like the video